You receive a list of names that need to be assigned to the respective supervisor. You start looking here, last name start, last name end. All right, Norman Abbey, E-B-Y. So that is, starts with an E. That is Brian Lynch. All right, James Berg, A, B, C. All right, B is between A and D. So that is Beth Enos. Lynn Husson, uh, Brian Lynch. All right, I'm already bored. Welcome to how to use ASCII character codes in Get and Transform. First things first, let's go ahead and add our tables to the query editor in the data tab. I'm going to select from table. Go ahead and get the employees tab loaded. Just do a quick close and load to only create connection, hit load. And now I want to go ahead and also load this supervisor table. So I'm going to select from table once again. And fantastic. We now have both queries here so that we can, we can do all of our work just here in one go. So in the employees table, I'm going to do add column. I'm going to select column from examples. And the only column I want to really look at here is the last name. So I'm going to get deselect the first name and then column one I'm going to type in E capital capital B and just like that it did a flash fill that I only wanted the first characters uh, last name fantastic I'm going to go ahead and hit OK so we can go ahead and create that column and now I'm going to go to the supervisor table and I'm going to do a add column custom column This is going to be start character number. And I'm going to do character, so capital C, dot two, capital T, number, capital N, open parenthesis, last name start, do a close parenthesis, and hit OK. Now I'm going to do one more custom column. And I'm going to do this uh, end character number. Once again, character, capital C, dot, two, number. And this will be our last name, end. Go ahead and close it out with the parentheses. Hit OK. I'm going to select both of these, set our change type to be that of a whole number. And now I want to do a custom column once again. And this time it is going to be the character range list. So I'm going to do a squiggly bracket here. If you remember that from our previous lessons, that is an array. So start character number, period, period, end character number. Close squiggly, and I'm going to hit OK. We've now created a list of values, so 65, 66, 67, 68. All of our missing letters within that range. I'm now going to hit expand to new rows. And I'm going to change the data type here to a whole number. I'm going to get rid of these two columns. Actually, we can get rid of everything except for these. So I'm going to do supervisor and the character list here. So remove other columns. And just like that, I'm going to go back to my employees table. This is where I notice a problem just right off the bat. My first character's last name, I actually need those to be the numbers. So I'm going to go up here in my formula bar. And text.start, I'm going to type in character, period, two number. So the function we've been using here. Do an open parenthesis, and then I'm going to go to the very end here, right before the comma. I'm going to do a close parenthesis, hit enter, and there we have it. First character's last name. I'm going to convert this over to a whole number. We're now going to go to the home tab, merge queries. I'm going to select the supervisor, first character, last name to character range list, 24 out of 24 matches, hit OK. And now I'm going to expand this and select the supervisor who is assigned to each employee. I know what some of you are probably thinking. You lost me to ASCII. Let's go ahead and talk about that a little bit more if you don't mind. ASCII is the American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Whew, that is a long one. Basically what it means is that at its core, your computer can only understand numbers. So whenever you start typing capital A, what does that really mean? It means the decimal value 65, capital B 66, a lowercase a 97, lowercase b 98. So when you start thinking about the last names and the first letter, 
And how you can get the values between A and D? Well, we can see here A is 65, B 66, C 67, D is 68. So thinking more about our array is we wanted the numbers between A and D, so 65 through 68, whenever we created our lookup table. Honestly, this has been somewhat of a short lesson. The only thing I've really taught you is the function character dot two number. What if instead of a two, we started using a from? Let's go ahead and load this table into our query editors in the data tab, from table. If you notice here, I have the number 65 through 90 and then 97 through 122. That is our capital letters and then that is our lowercase letters. I'm going to go to the add column. I'm going to do custom column. I'm going to just type in character here at the top. And for our function, we're going to use character. So capital C dot from number. I'm just going to pass in the number column and then a closed parenthesis. No syntax errors have been detected. Fantastic. Hit OK. And there you have it. Capital A through capital Z, lowercase a through lowercase c. The more you work with Power Query, the more similarities you'll continue to come across.